Hello guys, today I'm going to be installing Office 2010 on my PC. Yep, I'm using a screen recorder. I had tried to do an unboxing video, but my microphone wouldn't work. I wonder if y'all could hear me. Now we're at the setup. Let's go ahead and set up Microsoft Office. So I'm going to be replacing Office 2007 with 2010. Yep, you notice I use Word 2007 sometimes. And if y'all want to see me, I detect webcam software. Hold on. Here I am, and here's the cover and all this. Yep. It uses the same box as the same like Windows 7. So let me enter my product key. I'm going to go ahead and get on with the video. Let's see if it's still recording. No, I'm back. It's recording. So I just put in my key. Now we're gonna go ahead and accept the terms. And would you would? No, we don't need a full tr free trial to professional. No, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is upgrade. Upgrade from 2007. They have a new way where they made it where they worked on your product key a little for a better way to. They must have found a way to do a better way to validate it to stop pirates from stealing it. And I know it does come with lots of interesting features. And this is the while well, that's installing. This is what it comes with. You get a quick start. And right here is the product key. I was covering up my key. And it's licensed up to three computers. And this is genuine. This is like the. Like whenever I bought my Windows 7, it used to come out from the bottom. Okay. It's the same setup, like for additions. This is the one I got. Home and business, 2010. It's taking a while to install. At long parts, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause. I'm near the end now. It's right, it's right now currently installing Office 2010. In fact, I got the box right here with me. You will be required to activate your software from the internet or phone. You can download and install to install Microsoft Office from www.office.com slash download office if you don't have a DVD drive for this you gotta have 500 megahertz or faster 256 megabytes of RAM or above 300 gigabytes available of hard drive space 1024 by 576 or a higher resolution Windows XP Service Pack 3 32 bit Windows Vista Service Pack 1 or above with the highest you can go is 2 Windows 7 and Windows Server 2003 R2 with MSX ML 6.0 and 
welcome to server 2008 or later you gotta have DirectX 9 for XP users if you're going to use Office 2010 you gotta have Service Pack 3 installed you'll need Windows Media Player 9 or above because some of the features do require Windows Media Player um, it continues on at the bottom for Internet Explorer you will need Internet Explorer 7 or above Windows Search 4.0 See if it replaced the while it's installing. Let's see if it was to replace any of the programs. Kind of wiped it out. So I'm gonna let you know what happens next. Now we're back. And it's finally finished. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to reboot. So, here we go. And see ya.